Hi Kev here, Tabletop Upgrades, another Workshop Wednesday with some more two second lean improvements. And this one is probably going to be my last working from this back room. If you look out here, the workshop is pretty much finished. So uh, I'm going to be moving in there over the next seven days, which is really exciting. First change is that I've upgraded my camera system. It's actually not an upgrade, it's one I've had for a long time and I've been using it uh, just for uh, producing product videos. But I thought, well, why not use this amazing piece of kit um, for the two second lean video so hopefully you should get a better pitch quality and better sound uh, next we'll get into some of the ones I've recorded throughout the week so slowly starting the big move into the workshop got the workbenches in there and um, doing my first little bit of work editing this video in fact here in the workshop so really exciting and I also last night managed to have a bit of a test of some studio lighting so I run a few YouTube videos which really helped my sales so uh, this is starting to come together now and the next month is going to be completely transformative. One of my most popular products are these wound trackers. Um, and basically it's a piece of acrylic with some printing on, got a magnet in the middle. So I need to be able to easily dispense magnets. So a while ago I made this little magnet dispenser. It's kind of hacked together with little bits glued on in random places. And I've, my hand's been forced and I've had to change from four to five mil magnets. So it gave me an opportunity to improve this design. And um, so I redrew it in the old CAD. And here we have it. Here's a new version of it. It's got a magnet feed down the middle of it and I'm going to use this with a solenoid one day but basically the magnets come out always in the correct polarity and um, it's a great piece of kit that makes my job a lot easier. I use masking tape to pack up all my products. Uh, this is the tape dispenser so it puts out the exact amount that I need every time with no wastage but sometimes I have to use Gorilla Tape on some of my processes on the laser cutter and I have to rip that by hand which isn't a problem but I rip it to random lengths. So what I've done, simple, I've just put a little black mark on here. That's the perfect length that I need every time. It takes me a second, don't waste any tape. The big improvement that I wanna make this week is to sort out my Kanban system. I've been getting loads of good help in the chat, particularly from Phil and Andrew, so thank you so much. Um, this is my current situation. This is gonna be my before video. So an improvement I made the other week is I made this little queue system. So when I've got a job coming up, it enters the job queue. And then as these pass through the laser, this basically goes, passes to this position, next job. When it hits next job, I grab the material according to the card instructions, put it down the side. Now when it hits active job, I basically load the program, hit go. Um, current problems with this are that uh, the text rubs off, so I need a printed version. There's also a lot of searching through the programs uh, to find the right program name. I did start putting the program number, but it's just totally impractical. As soon as I update a program, all the programs have shifted. I've got to find everything again. So um, let's do it. We'll time it, see how we get on. So hit the timer, we'll go. So I'm hitting an uh, arrow packaging. So put the material in, set the focal distance. And this is an improvement I made the other week. I use a gauge block now instead of the ridiculous acrylic gauge that the manufacturer gives you. So that's set. I then go to the control and then I've got to flick through, and I know it's in here somewhere. Um, so I've started using this format here. Um, I've gone past it. I'm not actually making this up, maybe it's because I'm filming, it's taking longer. Arrow packaging, that's the one. Check the preview, that looks okay. Enter, it takes a second to load. Close the lid, hit start, 46 seconds. So I want to improve on that. And not only is there a lot of time spent there, but also mistakes can arise. Managing file versions through the control is difficult. I want to start using the PC wherever possible so that I can keep on top of uh, the correct version. So we'll make some changes, see how we get on. Okay, so I've made some changes. This is what the new card looks like. Uh, I've got a QR code, which I'm going to demonstrate in a second, a rough picture of the product and much simpler instructions, just what it is, the pull level, so how many I restock at four sheets in this instance, uh, what material I need, I need four sheets of cardboard and any other additions I also need to attach stickers and labels for this product to be complete. So um, I'll show you what I've done. I've also in here realized there's loads of excess motion picking off the gauge block and measuring it here, so that was pointless. So I measure the height here, so I put the gauge block here, which makes a lot of sense, so there's less movement there. Um, and this QR code actually sends 
uh, an instruction to the PC, believe it or not, through a clever bit of software that I'll talk about shortly, and it will run the program. So we'll start the process now, uh, 46 seconds to beat, um, so let's go. Code scanner, scan the barcode, it loads in the program on there, close the lid, hit Alt S to start. Right, with some faffing, that was 37 seconds, 10 seconds off, I can definitely get that faster. So I've changed a couple of things up on the PC, changed the shortcut, we'll hit the stopwatch, let's go. Remember, everything's a lot harder with one hand, but grab the material, put it in, check the height, need to adjust it, use a QR code scanner, scan the code, over to the PC, it's loaded the program, highlight, start, 26 seconds. So that is near enough halved the time uh, for that, which is probably going to save me about 20 minutes a week, but the difference is, the main difference, I'll flip the camera, the main difference is that I'm not going to be using the wrong file version, because that sometimes happens, it's cost me time, money, and a lot of frustration. So that whole process makes it half the time and eliminates any possibility for mistakes. I'm really happy with that. I think I'm gonna make these in color so there's a little bit of visual controls and I also need to roll that to, to all my products. So fingers crossed, this should be a massive, massive improvement. Let's talk quickly about how that integration between the barcode scanner and PC actions work. So the software is called Barcode to PC Server and what you can do is set up the free smartphone app, it's all open source, to run um, little macros. So here we have my macro, which is when it has barcode, it runs a little script, very simple. Um, the script simply says, use this piece of software to open this file location, and the barcode itself is just a string which represents the file name. Um, so here at the end, you'll see these little curly brackets, and that is the file name. So it loads it and runs it in the Lightburn software. You can actually use this software to do all kinds of different things. So for example, you can have a keyboard input, so you can enter a text field and press tab. So if you wanted to enter something, say, zero accounting software or a piece of inventory tracking software, you can do that. So this is uh, really novel because usually barcodes are just used to run a URL, which points to either some standard work or maybe a YouTube video, um, or perhaps even just pass a text string into a spreadsheet. But this is a piece of free software, allows a lot cleverer stuff to do, and I am using it to actually load in the um, laser cutter program so that it's ready to go. So this is a major upgrade and something I'm gonna look forward to rolling out across all my products should make things a lot easier. So that brings us to an end for this week. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, any suggestions or comments or opportunities of improvement that you've spotted here, please let me know and I'll see if I can put them into place for next week.